Hello, John Zimmerman with TabletClass.com. And it's just a quick little practice prom for those of you out there that are taking the GED exam. And uh, of course, as you know, there is a math section on the GED exam, and it's almost uh, certain to cover your understanding or test your understanding of percent. So here's a nice little word problem that uh, will do this, will test your concept of percent. So let me just go ahead and kind of tell you what the problem is. Okay, I don't have it quite written out, and then uh, we'll go over it. All right, so let's say I have these cool pair of sneakers. All right, let's call them Zimmerman sneakers, <laughs> and their original price they originally go for uh, 95 bucks. All right, but they're on sale. Okay, they're on sale for 60 bucks. So what I want to know is what is the percent discount? Okay, so um, clearly these um, these sneakers aren't full price. So how many how much percent off are they? Are they 50%, 40% reduced, 30% reduced? Of course, you know, you just walk around in your local um, mall, you know, you can see you can see this all the time, right? So how do, how do we get to this percentage off, this discount, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a, what I'm going I'm to suggest you do is to pause the video and you can try to figure this out and then we'll go over it. Okay, so when you're figuring out what the percent discount is on anything, this kind of markdown or even mark up, we always have to um, start with the original amount, okay? So it's going to be the, this basic formula. We're going to take the original amount, okay, which was 95, and we're going to subtract it from the new amount, okay? We're going to be looking for the difference, right? So the difference between 95 and 60, it's pretty obvious, right? 95 and 60, the, the change was what? It was 35, okay? So... 95 to 60 was $35. Okay, so it's $35 off, essentially, correct? That's one way of looking at it. Well, this is $35 off. Well, I don't want to know how many dollars off. I want to know what percent off. So the next question is, what percent, uh, what uh, 35 is what percent of 95? Okay, so 35 is what percent of 95? So anytime you want to know uh, the percent of a number, all you have to do is, Take that number, okay, and divide it by the larger total, okay. So I want to know what I want to know um, what percent 35 is to 95. I'm going to take 35 and divide it by 95, okay. So that this is a key concept here, all right. It's basically let's use a simpler example. If I wanted to know what percent 40 was, okay, out of 100, okay. If I wanted to know what percent 40 was out of 100, I would take 40 and divide it by 100, I'd get 0.4, okay? Or, of course, that would be 40%. All right, so the same thing you're going to do here, okay? So I want to know $35 is what percent of $95, okay? So you take 35 and you divide it by 95. I'm going to erase this here. And you get basically 0.368. And you get some other decimals there, but I'm going to kind of round off. So you get 0.368. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, when we have a decimal, okay, so with 35 divided by 95 is only the first step. So we have to take this decimal and convert it into a percent. So how do we take a decimal or how do we write a decimal as a percent? It's real easy. You always just multiply that number by 100. And what that's going to do, it's going to move that decimal point over two places to the right. And that's going to be 36.8%. Okay. And it could be a little bit more accurate. But if you gave me this answer, or I'm sure if uh, this was on your GED exam and they gave this as an option, <clears throat> well, excuse me, that would be correct. Okay. So 36.8% 30, uh, reduced. So I can write this sale. I can write this another way, right? I can maybe say uh, sale, right? So, hey, we got a sale going on here, and it is 36.8% off, okay? All right, so hopefully this kind of helped you uh, kind of explore if, how well you understand percent. Um, if you need to learn uh, more mathematics, okay, I would encourage you to join me at tabletclass.com. We have a great GED math program there. But uh, nevertheless, I wish you all the best. And um, hopefully we'll see you soon.